I want to invite Sophie on screen, if you don't mind, and I will give you guys a quick introduction. So Sophie has actually worked in retail on the shop floor for 15 years. At the start of the pandemic, she showcased her folding and organizational skills on TikTok. And from there, the folding lady was born. She now has over 5 million followers across her social media platforms. She released her first book last year, and she's appeared on a ton of TV shows in the U.S. and the U.K., such as This Morning, The Kelly and Mark Show, the list goes on. She joined the Amazon Influencer Program in 2022 and now counts her earnings as a strong and growing part of her business with home products and organizational products being her strongest category. Sophie, thank you so, so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. That sounded so glamorous. <laughs> it is. That glamorous. <laughs> well, thank you again for being here today. I'm going to guide you through a few questions that we have come up with, a few questions that we've received from the audience, and we are just looking forward to gaining from you all the insight um, and strategies for this upcoming Prime Day. So let's get started. So do you want to introduce yourself and a little bit about your background? Yeah, so hi everyone. Thank you for staying on to listen to me talk. I do talk a lot. So I am Sophie. Um, you might know me by my, what I've just noticed is my Zoom name, uh, the whole <laughs> lady. I need to change that. Um, and I started on TikTok at the start of the pandemic and um, I grew quite quickly on there, like a lot of people did at that time. Uh, after about a year, I moved over to Instagram, uh, which is my main platform, I would say. And I've written a book. I've done a bit of TV. And yeah, I've just built a career. I did eventually quit my job in retail, which is sad because that is my happy place. But it has um, been a really great experience doing what I do now. And I really, really enjoy it. And um, yeah, like Ali said, I joined the the Amazon influencers in last year. Must have been last, last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for that. So do you want to tell us a little bit about how you are currently working with the Amazon influencer program and how you got started with the program? Yeah. So how I got started was, was a little bit of um, fate really. So I, uh, on Instagram, I had someone follow me who is in Canada. And she also grew really quickly in the pandemic. And she's like a cleaning, she runs a cleaning company. I don't know if anyone would know her. She's, you probably will. She's called, her account is Go Clean Co. Anyway, she started following me. I think some of her followers said, go and follow the folding lady. And she obviously picked up on the fact that I had started at the same time as her. We'd entered this business with no training whatsoever. And she reached out to me. Um, and offered help and we had a FaceTime and she said look and one of the things that she advised me to do was set up an Amazon store and I did it straight away off her advice and I that that's how I got into the program just through someone else and and the reason she reached out to me is because someone reached out to her and gave her advice as well so it was her paying her fate forward as well and yeah, it was just really nice. And I would never have known about Amazon if it wasn't for her. Um, and then eventually after a while, I mean, I was using the links sort of like, you know, just to link on my um, Instagram stories, just what I was buying anyway, because I was an Amazon addict already. But um, and then Ali, you connected with me. And then, I mean, to be honest, I only started taking the, the program seriously in, I want to say November. It was the Black Friday event in November. So that's when, I mean, I'd always use the links, but very, very sort of just, just to link if I was, you know, posting something. And then um, I just really, I was just really enjoying it. I really enjoy the program. I really enjoy the analytics. It reminds me of when I was on the shop floor it's retail 
at its best. And uh, yeah, and then, yeah, I've just really started to take it seriously uh, very uh, in back in November, so. Yeah, and I feel like we've been working very closely since around November, which is great. Yeah, because one of the things that I committed to, to myself, was look, I if I want to take this Amazon program seriously, because obviously, let's just be honest about it, I did see money coming in. I mean, I mean, we're talking a couple of hundred pounds, but I would never sniff at a couple of hundred pounds every month. So, you know, I see this money coming in and I think, and then I, I never understood the back end. I call it the back office because that's what we used to call it in retail. So all mm -hmm. the sales that come through and all the analytics that you get. And then I started having a look in there and I started looking at what people were buying and you can see how many they buy, what's their favorites, what do they return, how much commission you make, you know, what's your payment terms. And I just started to feel right back in my happy place on the shop floor. And um, and then you did an incentive and I don't work with anyone. So I was like, wow, let's let's join in. It was just another thing that I, I just I miss people like I work on my own quite a lot. So I missed people. There's a great community that comes with being on the program. And I just wanted some human interaction as well. So uh so I joined in and it's it's de it's been it's gone up and up and up ever since yeah that's amazing you mentioned a few similarities between working on the shop floor working in retail and working in the Amazon influencer program are there any strategies you took from retail that apply directly to your strategy today oh 100 percent when I am you know doing Amazon I am I am back on the shop floor. So every morning I check the back office. I check what people bought, what commission came in, what sold the best, what links um, worked, where they came from, what tracking IDs. Um, not every day, but probably maybe once a week or every other week, I'll update my storefront. On a Sunday, I kind of sit sometimes on a Sunday night and I'll go through my storefront and just see what's on deal because I find that there's some deals that are about to end and I might post them or Monday they might, might end and I'll post them. Um, but it's just it's just staying really close to all those analytics. They're so fun to read. I'm such a people watcher and it and I'm really interested. And also what it allows me to do is then serve my audience correctly so if I post something that's maybe not my usual product um and I see that so many people have bought it then I know that that worked or if I look at my returns which I always do because I did that we always looked at our returns in retail and they've all returned one particular product then I know that that didn't work that it was either faulty it wasn't good enough quality it didn't work for some reason, the audience spoke and said, we, we didn't like that product. We actually made the effort to return it. So it's all those things. I just love, I just love to see what people buy. I love to see trends. I'm interested. I find it fascinating how people shop. Um, and you have the best analytics of any, I mean, I'm not on all the affiliate sites. I'm on probably one or two others, which I don't really use. But of all of them, you have the best analytics because I don't know if everyone knows this. Tell me if you do or you don't. But the sales come in on your analytics in real time. So if you sell something, so you post a link, you can go and sit on your laptop and refresh. And after like two minutes of it being sold, you'll start seeing those sales coming in. So you'll be able to see it all happen. And, you know, it's fun and it just you know the information that you can gather from that to serve your audience which is what we're here for as creators um is unbelievable yeah I love how you call it the back office too because it really does feel like associate central is kind of like the admin hub of everything and it is quite addicting like the the metrics that we can gain in real time it's quite like you get quite invested in it a hundred percent because as creators our job a lot of the time and especially how I run my my business is quite 
um, based on reaction, quick reactions. So, you know, you might have the weather turn to a heat wave that you didn't know was coming because it's the UK. And, you know, you're going to be posting fans um, and or, you know, you, you, and it's just, you know, human instinct is if we get the information, the quicker we get it, the more motivated we are. And that's really important because okay. it's a lot, the Amazon influencer program is the long game and it took me a long time to build it to where I am now and I'm still building it I'm just not even not even close to where I think it could go but um you know to keep motivated it's so important that we get those analytics quickly and the fact that we can check the sales in real time as well as commissions every single day is just like key to motivation for me Absolutely. So now that we're talking about kind of the long gain, let's chat about Prime Day. Mm. So Prime Day is right around the corner. What do you have planned? How do you plan to kind of educate your audience? And are there any platforms or strategies that you really like to leverage during deal events? Yeah, so for me, my biggest platform is Instagram. I actually, to put it into context, TikTok, I've got 4.4 million followers, but I don't see any of them. But Instagram, I've got over <laughs> that pl platform to me is like, whoo, mind blowing. Um, but Instagram is where I make all my money. So I just, that's something to think about. And you'll find what platform is yours. And it might not be, don't think it's going to be the one with the most followers because it, it might not necessarily be that one. Mine is 100% Instagram um, and it's Instagram stories. So I have announced Prime Day already. As soon as I saw it on the website it had been announced, then I announced it to my followers. You've got to like build the excitement, you know, build, build, build. And um Oh, I just saw someone say about Pinterest. I will just say about Pinterest, you can now, I don't know if I, I think I've got early access, but that was quite a, a little while ago, but you can now link a video. You could only link a picture previously. And I do video content, not picture content. You can now link a video. Not sure if that's rolled out to everyone, but keep an eye out for that if you're on Pinterest, because that's a massive opportunity because your reach on Pinterest is massive. Um, compared to Instagram so yeah not something that I it, it's kind of like not a priority for me right now kind of bottom of my list but it is on my radar but I just want it I just saw that pop up so I just want to say that um, yeah so I've announced it on my stories I, I did uh, I did actually put a link up to the prime um, the prime subscription last night actually when you said it um, I got four signups, if that helps anyone. I got four signups. But what does that tell me? I feel like that tells me that my followers are already signed up. And I think I need <laughs> yeah. that because uh, I've never put I've never put a bounty link up before, but it was on my hit list to do this time, just a trial. I mean, four people signed up, which is amazing. That's what's that, 12 pounds. But uh -huh. um yeah, it what you know, it wasn't like you know a massive money maker but it's not sometimes it's not about that sometimes it's about having putting the information out there like how many people you know would have thought oh prime day's coming up but did they know that only prime members have access to those deals and also you want to you have to be the expert like I am the expert to them and I want to be the expert because you know they have to trust you so putting out your information, even if it doesn't have any monetary value, um, you know, shows that you know what you're talking about, which is really, really important. Uh, and that you're in the game, that you're giving the information to them, that you're checking that they're OK, that they're ready. Um, and uh, that's really important to put out there, I think. What else have I done? I put my question box up, as I always do. What deals you want? Because this is the time now where... If you do the type of content like I would do, I do on these kind of events where I just swipe everything, none of my usual content goes out, no folding, no, maybe a little bit of organizing for a demo, maybe. But this is just purely about the deals. 
And this is your opportunity to trial different products to like see what else they want to see. It's a great opportunity to ask the question, like, what are you looking for? What deals are you looking for? And I bet you'll be really surprised. There'll be some big ticket items. I get a lot of robot, robot vacuums, which I've linked in the past and I don't own one and they know that I don't own one, but I do the research for them. And then I also ask them to give me feedback and I share their feedback with them. So I'll I'll ask for their reviews. What robot vacuum is, have you got? Because I've got, I don't know, I haven't got one. Um, and then I'll screenshot the DMs and I'll share them with the rest of the rest of my followers. And that works really, really well. Like share the reviews that come into your DMs. Um, I have actually ordered a robot vacuum. It's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Because I was like, I finally need to try it. I just need to try it to see what they're all going on about. And then, you know, I can do a great demo and I can, I hadn't had time in the past and I didn't need one, but now I've, I want to be, because uh, they've asked for it. The last three events, that's what's been asked for. So now is the time that I use my money to buy one, to learn about it, to then sell um, even more effectively to my follower. Um, but yeah question box 100% what are they looking for deal wise because it's the it's a great opportunity to just post just outside of your usual niche um for sure can't think what else I've done put it in my diary nothing else is booked in for those two days I feel gotta like, clear the days yeah I fully like, fully committed do you know what I just because I enjoy it I'm looking forward to it I, this is me this like I said this is my happy place I enjoy it my followers enjoy it we've built up and it's taken time but we've built up to a point where they know how much time I spend on Amazon they know that I read the reviews they know that I trial products I'll demo products to them and they trust me and I trust them and we all do feedback they send me feedback they send me links I buy stuff that they send me so like they inf I influence them but they often influence me so um there's many times when I've been in like the sales and I've got I've looking at what people buy it, it might not be something that I've linked but because they were in my link it made uh -huh. me and I was like, what is that? And I'll click on it. I'll be like, I'm buying that. That is genius. So yes, uh, that's what I've done so far to plan. A, a lot of what you said already in your presentation, Ali, is just is spot on quite simply. Um, might check my notes, but, but I think that's it. Perfect. Um, you talk about like being an expert, answering questions. Is there anything else, I guess, during the deal event? So not necessarily preparation, but anything that guides you during the deal event with curating and selecting products to share? Is it something that you pick all the products you're going to promote in advance and you like to stay really true to your niche? Or like you mentioned, during the two days, do you kind of expand those categories and, and you search for a particular deal? Yeah, so it's it's been quite interesting because I have recently come out of my niche and this is something that's that I would recommend to anyone. So start if you're looking at a sort of process to to of where to start, start with your niche and I'll I'll use mine as an example. So mine is home and travel. Um and and identify your hero products. My hero products, I've got them here. Look. Well, here's my main hero product. This is a draw divider and you can only really get these good on Amazon, the best price on Amazon, um, the best selection on Amazon. And they- I'm sorry to interrupt you, but can, do you mind maybe explaining what you mean by hero products for anyone who may not know what that is? Your hero products are your products that will sell over and over and over again because they fit in with your content and you can organically keep promoting them. So, and they will, the, your hero product should, to start with, come really naturally. Nothing, I mean, nothing about what I do is, con is contrived or anything like that, but your hero products will be really easily ident uh, identifiable. You've linked them time and they keep selling. Uh, your your followers really like them. You tend to use them a lot in your content. They they are part of the content that you make consistently. Um, like me, I'm folding clothes. 
So a jaw divider is just naturally always in my content. They're amazing. And I have been selling those jaw dividers like for the past two years or so. Um, and I will always sell the jaw dividers so much so that I should probably make my own. But <laughs> you're online to sell on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> to sell on Amazon. But um, they're your hero products and they will start off in your niche. So mine are my home products, my jaw dividers, uh, my lazy season, which I actually didn't bring out in the end. It's like a turntable. You can put them in your fridge. You can put your makeup in them. You can put them in your bathroom. Um, and all these organizing products, which I constantly use in my home. I love them and I constantly use them in my content because it just makes sense. And I will forever sell them. And then once you've got those established, I always check them. They're the main things that I check. So I check, oh, I also have some that are just Christmas. And some of your some of your hero products might be seasonal. So at Christmas, I have a set of Christmas organizing products for baubles and um uh all your Christmas lights and things like that. And that obviously I only post around Christmas time, but every year I sell again and again and again. Um so uh, once you once you've established those you know they're going to be your bread and butter because you'll keep posting them and from your hero products you'll start people will start to realize like you're trustworthy I'll check the deals on them every single week every single product my hero products in my sh and that's what makes up my storefront it's my hero products I'll check the deals on them every week and I'll post them and you know some people because you're posting them so much a lot of people will wait for them to be on deal um because they often are and um and then you'll 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 build the trust with your audience but you'll also again become the expert which is what you want to be which is what you should be if you're posting products and earning money off them you should be an expert um and when I say expert don't don't overthink that word but expert to me is the fact that these are the jaw dividers I trialed every single jaw divider on Amazon this is the one that I come back to. Of course, I post the other ones because there's certain things about the other jaw dividers that people like, like the colors or the aesthetic or anything like that. But these are my favorite and I make that clear. I know exactly what the good price for these is. They come as a pack of four or a pack of six, or if you're in the US, a pack of eight. And the best price for them, if you divide it up, is roughly five pound per divider. So as soon as I see that go, that price drop, if it comes below five pound per divider, I'm like, guys, this is a great deal. But I can say that really truthfully and honestly, like this is the time if you were if you were pushing back on buying the dividers, now's the time because they're less than this is the price of them. This is the best price you'll get. Um, and you'll get to learn all the deals as well. Like I, I know all the prices. I know how, what's a good offer. And I, I'm confident, I can be really confident to say, guys, this is an excellent deal, but this is the time to buy. Or, um, so yeah, that's, that's, I probably went on a little bit there, but that's the hero products. No, it's great. It's all super helpful. I forgot the question. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um, so just as a, an added note to that, we've actually asked Sophie to create um, an idea list um, of her hero products, which you guys can shop after, kind of browse so that you have a better idea and, and can put a little bit of color to, to what she explained. Yes. Yeah, so um, we. What did you say? I put all my hero products in there. Great, great. Yes, they're on her storefront. Um, speaking of storefronts, we did get a question from the survey. How do you like to set up your storefront in general? And then do you adjust your storefront organization um, features, idealist versus shoppable photos for Prime Day? Uh, yeah, so in my storefront in general, I don't tend to spend that much time on, um, just mainly because the way my audience shops and the way I've sort of trained everyone to shop um, is through the links on my stories. So my storefront, and also my storefront is all my bestsellers. There's sometimes I'll trial the odd list, like for example, and this is a retailer thing uh, from me, at the minute we've just had a heat wave. So I created an ideas list, which was heat wave essentials, and it had my fans on, it had my cool pillows on, um, anything, it had like four things in, I think, which was nothing, but 
that and then I put that list in my at the top of my um link tree in my story at on top of my link tree and uh, but apart from something like that I very rarely deviate from what uh, how my storefront is so it's simple it's travel bestsellers it's home bestsellers it's not not home it's travel bestsellers bedroom bestsellers um beauty bestsellers and that's that's how it is it's just the categories just like in the store just it's like like I picture in my head because I worked in a department store I picture in my head my storefront is every floor of the department store so I've got fashion beauty home I've broken up into kitchen and bedroom because obviously that's my niche so I break it down a little bit more um and then travel and there's a couple of others but I very I very rarely change it I just add to it if I discover a new product um I mean I deleted a couple of, of ideas lists that were old this morning but yeah I don't spend too much time in it I don't tend to do shoppable photos I haven't really got into that just yet again you can't do everything all at once so just take it slow there's loads of things that I'm yet to explore and yet to do so shoppable photos is one of them but I have got some planned for prime day um and then what, there's something else as well, but I can't remember. There's a couple of things. Uh, videos in the US Amazon shop. That's another one that I need to. That should be easy, but it's time consuming. Like <laughs> It's just one of those. Yeah. We'll get you set up with shoppable photos in time for Prime Day. Yeah, I've got, I've got some ready. So I am going to, I am going to, it's, it's next on my list. But the thing is, look, you need to take it slow. I think that's the best thing I've done. I've always been a person that goes, deep dives into something too quick and then you end up with the biggest workload and like I said I work on my own um I enjoy Amazon so it's not something that I'd ever ever consider outsourcing to anyone else like I know a couple of other big creators do I genuinely really enjoy it so I, I like learning about customer shopping habits so it's not something that I'd outsource but um the key is to take it slow like do your storefront and then make your link tree and then, uh, you know, find your hero products and and take notice and have an awareness of how that builds you your commissions and what income that makes you and then move on to the next thing. So shoppable photos I could easily do. I could go around my house because all my products are sat in my house looking pretty already. I could be uh-huh. like, but I haven't got the time to have a look at how that makes a return for my business right now. So it's not something that I'm going to bother doing. I want to be able to commit to it and just check that it actually gives me a return because it it does take um, time out of your day. So I think it's really important to take it slow and just watch how each thing that you do builds your revenue. Absolutely. Um, For the last few minutes of our chat, it's gone by so quickly. I actually wanted to invite any creators. uh, Laura, I know that you had a question. If anyone wants to unmute or be brave enough to um, come on camera, um, feel free to ask Sophie some questions. I feel like there's so much. There's so much that I didn't cover. Sorry. Hopefully they'll ask the questions. Otherwise, it might not have been something I needed to cover. Hi guys, I think I've been unmuted. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'll put my video on. Hi. Well done, Sophie. That was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed listening to all of that. Is that Lara? Um, I, my oh, am I on? No, I haven't set up my uh, video. But my question was about you asking your audience about the Prime Day, Day deals that they would like to see. Do you do that in advance of Prime Day, or do you do that on the day? So I did that on um, my announcement that Prime Day was on. I took the opportunity there. And then I will redo that again uh, the day before Prime Day, I think, or or maybe I'll do it on Prime Day. I'm not sure, but I will do it again close to the time. So I did it, when I did it the other day, I've screenshotted everything and put it in a file on my phone. And then what I've done with that information is I've just been, some of the products that I don't know about that, uh, like, for example, the um, uh, the robot hoovers, I've been like looking on Amazon, just seeing the price and just getting to know those products, reading the reviews and reading the the bad reviews and the good reviews and just seeing what I'm comfortable posting because I'm very, very 
uh, strict with myself. I won't post something if I don't think I can confidently, if, if I want one in my home, if it doesn't look like something I would buy, mm. then I won't put it out to my followers whatsoever. On the flip side, the great thing is they can return it. They can yeah. return it really easily as well. And that's probably the one thing that I like the most because like, I'm not arrogant enough to think everyone's going to want to like what I like. But um, you you can be comfortable with the fact that they have got a really easy way to return their products. But yeah, I will ask that question again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think we have time for just one more question. Um, we're a bit you know, close to the end here, but if anyone wants to be unmuted, please put in the meeting chat and we can unmute you for our last question. Going once. Suzanne, would you like to, maybe Celine, can you help us out with some unmuting? Hi, can you hear me? Hi, yes, we can. Hi, um, Sophie, um, you were brilliant. I got in touch last time um, when you um, mentioned a few things on the last webinar. So, um, and we touched base because um, you're the folding lady and I'm the batch lady. Um, can I just quickly ask you, do you, I'm a bit confused about, do we know any of the deals in advance so that we could do any video work for it or literally on the deal day, are we looking at the products that we know we want to promote and then seeing what ones are on the Amazon deal? Um, so I don't know like for certain uh, any of the deals that I've been, I know from Amazon, but I um, have, I obviously another part of my business is that I work with brands and they advertise on my page. So I have reached out to a few of them that I regularly link on my um uh, through my Amazon shop because they've got Amazon shops themselves and I have I emailed last week a few of the brands and said do you want to disclose your list for Prime Day what products have you got in I'm just like I'm just planning now so make sure they know that you're planning and then a couple of the brands um sent me their lists for Prime Day so I, I was able to just make some some planning some better planning for that and uh yeah that was really successful and you know what that was the first time I'd done that I'd not done that before by reaching out to the brands that I'm friends with because you just build that kind of relationship over time but um yeah I just thought you know what this is what I'm going to move on I've mastered some of the basics now of what I do like do your storefront post stuff on your stories and now like I said take it slow and now I'm building up and then the next thing I built to was I emailed the brands and and gratefully they sent me a list and they were happy to as well of course they were of course they yeah. were happy to send me a list uh one of them was fully linked as well I was very impressed it's a massive organization brand and they sent me a full list with links it was beautiful it was very easy it took me about maybe half an hour to sift through um but yeah that was great a really great result actually I'll be doing that again oh brilliant thank you that is perfect I'll do that with my brands thank you welcome well i think that is time for today um i just want to thank you sophie so much for your time and your insight it has been so helpful we have all learned so much thank you to lucy and celine as well for handling the meeting chat um, if anyone has not put their associate ID in the survey box so we can see who attended today, please feel free to do so. Um, Sophie, I will be sharing your channels as well as your idea list. So hopefully you'll get a few more questions. Um, feel free to reach out to Sophie and yeah, I'm, I'm offering her services. If anyone has, I had so much more I could have shared today. So if anyone has any questions, <laughs> honestly, reach out to me reach out to me on Instagram I, I might I might see it on Instagram but uh, my email address is in my Instagram bio so feel free to drop me an email and I'll be happy honestly I'm an oversharer so I'll be happy to share thank you so much and thank you for everyone who attended as well we will talk to you guys soon and I wish you guys all happy shopping for Prime Day